Leave your ass why? Cause the white folks don't. I don't Wake up in the morning. I'm gonna make a video of my friends. First question, number question number one. Do I even Fortnite? They said, Do you even Fortnite, bro? <laughs> Do you wanna. Uh, let me show you something. Let me show you. Chug Jug! I'm named the Chug Jug right now! I Fortnite. I'm sorry, I actually Fortnite. I play with Chow Skip, Vito, and Donner Glover. Both of them at the same time. I, I, I'm all I do is Fortnite, okay? Uh Alright guys, so TBH, what happened was, I needed to film the rest of this video and then I forgot, so, yeah. Drunk Q&A, we're not drunk, but we're gonna drink all of this and hopefully get there. Here we go. It's like lemon lime soda. My name is Nick and I'm his roommate. So I asked you guys to give me questions and you guys did. On my Instagram, the Nathan Pylon. I said I was gonna answer some questions that you guys asked. And I said, make them weird. Insert clip. The weirder the questions, the better. So make them weird. Oh well, my gosh, my sister asked me a question. She said, how are you so dope? I don't know, a lot of practice. Honestly, I just come from a really cool family. That's like really like, honestly like what it is. It's true. The Pylon family. That's what I, I'm laughing because that's what I call you guys. Oh no, like the for real, the like extended, what's it called? The like. Your biological. My biological family. family. <laughs> I come from really cool families. This one, God, I hate this person. Ugh. How many hot dogs do you use when making burnt hot dog wear? That's a popular question. <laughs> <laughs> it's my question. Oh, Pablo, why did you let him out? How many hot dogs? What do you do? How many hot dogs? Boo! How many hot dogs does Pablo use in burnt hot dog water, Nick? Pablo uses burnt hot dog water, Nick. The question is for you. What is burnt hot dog water? Probably one or two, but there could also be more. And Pablo doesn't discriminate numbers. We do not discriminate. Hold on to that rope. Hell yeah, tug of war. Hell, you have two different colored eyes. Oh my god. Another ASMR. Ooh. Yo, this is gonna blow up. Oh man, out of all the videos, this is the one. I really think this is the one. This is the one. If you think about it, out of all my videos that I've ever done, this is the one. You know what I'm saying? Woo! You know what I mean? Like, whoa. I've never had a video that I just felt so good about. Keep on drinking, bro. Yes! Woo! That was what it would be like if I did steroids. But I don't care enough. About my body or too much about my body to do steroids because I know like people that do steroids It's usually because they're trying to get like fit and muscular And so I think they care too much about their body But at the same time if you really care about your body you probably would do steroids because it Are you doing that sound I'm making? This sound Sweaty ASMR pizza. I, eat this pizza. I think that's been sitting out. Three it's days? Like three hours. Three okay. days? Look at this. Anyway, told me this is how you get mm. to where you are. 30 seconds. I have to so eat that. Okay, one minute, let me do Oh, you killed that. No, no, no. How do you eat tomatoes without juice coming out? Make a statement about this. Tomatoes without juice. They're Can, fruit. How do you eat tomatoes without juice? What do you cucumbers eat? Cucumbers are fruit. Juice. Cucumbers are fruit. fruit. It's a fruit, so it has juice. Cucumbers are See, fruit. Whatever makes a fruit. up the fruit is made of carnivores. Can you twerk? We're gonna twerk. Slow down. Grab the wall. Wiggle like you're trying to make your ass fall off. So, yes. Ah! So, this one says if you're able to switch bodies with anyone, who would it be and what would you do? Actually, this is really weird. Megan Fox. No hetero. No hetero. I would switch, but I would switch by as Nicki Minaj or Megan Fox. Probably Megan Fox. I relate to that. So, this is so like iconic. Yeah, I relate with What that. an iconic bod. Can I be in your YouTube video? Yes. I don't know where that came from. That came from my neck. No, that came from your soul. Do you like ducks? LOL. Yeah, they are right. But I didn't always used to like ducks, actually. Geese, Canadian geese, specifically. <laughs> Yo, you didn't re you realize that this question was gonna get a real serious answer. A Canadian geese, when I was- <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, I have a lot of weird things about myself. Hey, just listen to my story. I'm waiting for you to stop laughing. It's like when you're in a live studio audience, NF NSNL, SNL, NSFNL, and they have to wait for them to stop laughing. That's kind of what we're doing right now. Only instead of 10,000 to a million people watching this, they're gonna be five people. <laughs> Three of them haven't gotten this far. No. But this will be my most successful YouTube video. <laughs> Do you like ducks? Yes. <coughs> now. But specifically, I used to not like Canadian geese. Do you know this story, Nick? This is not a real story. So when I was a kid. I have to go. Come back. Come back. Oh, this is not a real story. Okay. <laughs> 
When I was a kid, I was about eight years old. Imagine the scene from Jurassic World or Jurassic Park 2 where the little girl has a sandwich and the little like tiny dinosaurs come up. Like, yeah, hang on. Then she starts feeding them and they all come and like start eating her. Um, a start clip. Are you hungry? Take a bite. Okay, so imagine that, except with Canadian geese and me at eight years old. I had bread when I was feeding Canadian geese at a, a river pond thing, and I started giving them to one, and then I gave them to another, and they all just started like, ah! and I was eight years old. So I was smaller than these geese at this time. This tall, and the Canadian geese were like, this tall. And so they were just trying to get my bread. They just kept enclosing around me, and then all of a sudden I started looking around, there was nowhere to go because they were all around me. I had all this bread, a whole loaf, throwing it, and I freaked out, I was like, ah! And so I just threw it really far away. Like a third of the geese were like, ah! And so they all went towards that. The rest of them were like, looked over at the bread, and then looked back at me and went, ah! They were about to peck my life out. I was about to die. I was like, mom! My mom was like, ah. and then she ran through them and picked me up and held me by the heels. Ah. I'll, I'll reenact it with alcohol. Ah. Ah. That's what I imagine. I don't think she actually kicked any of the animals. That was a really long story. Can you ask the question that was asked? Do you, you like ducks? Type We're of not duck. getting into this. <laughs> type of bird. They're not uh, a type of duck. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> like, sure. Looks like a swan looks like this, and a goose, and a duck. They're all three different <laughs> types of, of animals. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Like, uh, penguins, maybe. <laughs> Obviously, penguins aren't ducks. Uh, We've been reading these questions for a long time. C uh, cut to, um, something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so good. I love the way that looks. Love the way that looks. Oh my god. It's just so good. I love that way. I love the way that looks. Cut back. Okay, so. <laughs> this question says, Are you still vegetarian if you eat a part of an animal that's not meat? <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> Me? What part are you talking about? Like a nail? Like one of their <laughs> fingernails? Love that question so much. I think Who that you would you that? still be. Uh, I just think you would not be a vegetarian. This one says, what sport would be the funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to? Probably um. Football. What? Three, three, nine. Chicken butt. Go. <laughs> Do you think that's what it would be like? Yeah. Oh, football. What's the weirdest thing you have ever seen in someone else's home? Oh, okay. Okay, here's some tea. This is weird because um, of who I am. Just because I just, I think this is really weird to just, I just think this is weird to have. I went to someone's house recently. Just like, they're just very bougie. They're like social media people. Boy, social media people, if you don't know, like a lot of them are really bougie. And I was opening up a beer bottle with a... Uh, uh, lighter because I always do that. Well, I try opening up like three I hate times this story. and it was like I like it wasn't opening the person who lives there like oh hey Hey, can you not do that? That's three thousand dollars and I look I look at it and I'm like oh and it was like Louis Vuitton blue camo lighter holder the lighter holder was three thousand dollars like, such a Nathan cause, pilot cause we thing to have nah! If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? A peacock or a cat? Cats Definitely would be rude. a cat. I feel like peacocks are very showy. They're very like, they're very like, sassy. And they're, they're just rude. like, oh, oh, I'm, just, I'm a peacock. I'm gonna, I don't care about what you say. So like every LA person. They're like, the, yeah, they're like <laughs> the Gucci of like all the stores. And cats, I feel like would be like Target and dogs would be Walmart. The I'm way just saying, you rank things they'd be rude. Amazing. They'd be so rude. We're almost done. This is the last question. We are gonna end this on a real note. It, it's get real sometimes on this channel, and that's okay, we're not scared of that. All right, so what advice can you give to others who are scared to come out? My first thing I would say is, don't feel pressured to come out at any certain point in time. Like, literally for some people, it might be like dangerous to come out. Like, there's some people like you just can't for certain reasons, and that's okay. As you feel comfortable, like for me, like I started telling people in 10th grade, the first friend I ever told was in 10th grade. And then after that, like slowly started telling people. And then five years later, I told the remaining people in my family that I didn't know. Also, like, I didn't feel like you really need to come out necessarily in the way that like some people do. For me personally, I, when I like really came out, came out, I posted something on social media. That's because I'm a social media influencer and I just wanted my fans to like, know how I felt about issues. Um, but I wouldn't have done that if I wasn't a social media influencer. I don't feel like you need to necessarily make like some public declaration, mm -hmm. just cause it's like people really need to know your sexuality or what happens 
in your personal life really at all, unless you want them to. So I don't know, people, that's personal. I think the most important things, and you hit on this, is definitely safety for one, because I know for me in certain situations, it wasn't safe for me to come out. Um, I was closeted for 23 years. The first person I told I was 23 years old. But no, definitely definitely come out when you are ready in the way that you want to. Like he said, there he, he came out on social media. I came out on social media as well, just because we both work in social media. Definitely don't let being closeted uh, have, give you a mentality of you having a horrible life. Because I know several people who are closeted and who are living their best life. Just because you're closeted doesn't mean that, you know, things are wrong or bad. It just means it's not your time yet. And if you feel like it's your time, then I would I would say start with people that you know you can trust. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. That was, um, that. If you watched this far, comment something about how you watched this far. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. Oh, post notifications. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna try to post four times a week. So, that's gonna happen. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching this. Um, I am Nathan Pyland and stay weird. Ah! Yeah.